Today we have two lessons and we're going to learn a whole bunch of notation and terminology. Now, I don't know about you, when I hear we're going to learn notation and terminology, that sounds really boring. So we're going to learn words and definitions. And what do you, what's the point? Okay. So I thought, being that today, we're actually going to learn three different forms of notation. Okay. We're going to learn NCR notation first, then we're going to learn sigma notation, then we're going to learn factorial notation, do a bit of work with all of those. So today's like notation day. So I thought I'd make a big point about notation in general and why it's useful. I thought, how would I illustrate this? And I thought this is probably the easiest way. Now, um, you can learn notation in a couple of different ways, right? Or with a couple of different frames of mind. Um, you can learn it from the viewpoint of someone who has to learn stuff for a test, right? And you're like, okay, write it all down, put it on flashcards, memorize it, blah, 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 blah. Um, and once I get the test done, I can forget about all of this stuff, okay? Now that's a very tiresome way of learning notation or terminology. There's another way of doing it. All of this notation terminology, like, it was all devised by someone who's trying to understand something and work with it. Right? And notation and terminology allow you to get at something which you don't yet have language for and articulate it and understand it and manipulate it. So for example, I've been playing the acoustic guitar for hmm, 13 years now. Okay, 13 years. This is my rebellion from um, having to learn, like every other good migrant child, piano when I was young and then getting kicked out after I passed preliminary grade because my teacher said my fingers are too short. So I said, fine. Forget you, proper classical instrument. I'm gonna pick up the guitar. I never look back. Now, the guitar, like every other instrument out there, has loads of terminology and notation associated with it. Okay, and it can be quite hard to learn it all at the beginning. For instance, uh, if you can see, you got strings. Everyone knows they're called strings. That's not very fancy, right? Um, but you've got strings that that are sort of perpendicular to these metal bars, right? And um, these metal bars, they're called frets. And when you want to talk about which fret you're, you're, you're wanting to put fingers on, you number them, right? So we say, okay, these strings, we go from um, top to bottom, which seems like, oh, why is that in reverse? And the reason why is because the, um, these strings down here are higher in note than the strings down here. So that's why it's top to bottom. And then when I say, okay, here's, um, here's my fingers on, uh, you know, three different strings. I would describe this as uh, zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. Now, that's notation. If you see those numbers and you don't know what any of that means, it's confusing, right? But it allows me to describe a chord, and that's just the beginning. We talk about uh, major chords and minor chords and uh, bar chords and arpeggios and all of that stuff. The point is that it unlocks a new language and new things that you can do and you can make music with it, right? So, I want you to keep that in your mind as you think about well, why are we learning all this thing, these things? It's because um, we're trying to, for lack of a better way of saying it, we're trying to make music with something that's very hard to articulate unless we have some language to do it, okay? So I'm not, I'm not actually going to teach you any guitar, you know? Um, I'm not good enough to do that. And yeah, you know, you're a dog, I heard you like learning, so I put a subject in your subject so you can learn while you learn. 